morning Manila, Natalie Taran here from the Traveling Foxes and I am spending another weekend here in Manila. So for this weekend I have been invited to do a Binondo tour and to those of you who don't know about Binondo, it is the oldest Chinatown in the world. So there are so many things to do and there are so many food options. I've actually already done a food tour before. Um, if you haven't seen our old video, I'm gonna leave the link below. But this is more to Binondo than just visiting it once because there's so many food choices that you have to visit. And I'm gonna see where this food tour will take me today. I joined a food and historical tour through Buckets, and even though I've been to Binondo before, it was another eye-opening adventure checking out new eating spots and learning about the history of Chinatown. So we will be going, if possible, we will be going upstairs to look at the skyline of Binondo before we officially start the tour. So for our foreigner friends, this is one tip in crossing the streets of Manila. One tip, show no fear okay for this will be the fastest pedestrian crossing around the world it's like five seconds let's go no fear no, no fear before officially starting the tour we went to ramada hotel to have a good view of pinondo Apparently, this is one of the best views you can get of Metro Manila. Our second stop was Binondo Church. This church was founded in 1596 to convert the Chinese into Christianity. The image of Our Lady of Pronto Socorro inside Binondo Church was venerated in 1588 and is now the oldest Marian image in the Philippines. Our first stop was Dongbei Dumpling in Binondo, where dumplings are made fresh inside the restaurant. So the first stop is dumplings, and my eyes are already getting so watery. I think they're just making it behind me. It's the uh, onions, no? So I'm excited to try onions for breakfast. <laughs> the good thing is I love dumplings already, so this should be easy for me. I'm crying from the freshness of the onions being cut behind me. But it's really good. It tastes like I'm just in probably China or Taiwan. These are some legit dumplings. There's always one left. And in China, it's, it's a very good thing because for the host, for us, it means that we just serve enough. But if you finish the whole thing, it means that we are not, it's like we're not prepared for the visitor. So we just finished our first appetizer, which was dumplings, and now we're going to try another one. Lumpia. found 
deep inside one of the buildings. So if you're going to miss the sign, uh, it might be slightly hard to find this place. This is Dumpia or the Filipino spring roll actually. It was from the word Hokkien word Dumpia which means easy to roll or easy to eat. So this is a snack. Uh, Thank you. That's the delicacy. Originally from the, the, the recipe is originally from Hokkien province. So if you haven't heard that, I just figured out that Lumpia or the Lum or Lun from Lumpia stands for ready to go or ready to eat. Did you know that? You should try it first uh, without the sweet sauce. So... It has a bit of um, egg, carrots, I think cabbage. But it's a good mix of all the flavors. It's sweet, I really like it. So if I add a bit of sweet sauce, it's probably even going to taste more divine. This is worth coming to be non for. So now we are in my favorite part, which is the dim sums. I love dim sum so much, and there are so many good places for dim sum in Manila. But apparently, this is one of the best places here in Chinatown, so I'm really excited to try it. Shrimp at the top uh, makes it adds to the flavor. Whew. These ones here are quite big though. I'm just gonna eat it. I need water. Calamansi also and soy sauce. This is the Japanese shawmai. I kind of scrunched it with my chopsticks so it doesn't look that pretty anymore. So I'm just gonna dip a little bit of spice and soy sauce with calamansi. I really don't know how to explain it. It's good. Um, the seaweed has a bit of a strong flavor, but it's very nice and soft in the mouth. Oh, the third one, it's radish cake. It's fried, it's country on the outside. It's a bit chewy. Oh, there's sauce for it. So the radish cake comes with the sauce that tastes like a piping duck sauce, so it's sweet. Alright, now for the meatballs. It's good, but I'm kind of used to fried meatballs, so if I eat something like this, I would prefer if it was in soup, because I think this is also boiled meatballs. So, or I would prefer eating this with rice rather than on its own. The first time I came to Chinatown, I was introduced to Ing Bin Tin Hopia. And every time I visit now, I get myself a pack of these. It is really, really good with the Hopia. It's like my favorite snack. 
So this marks the end of my trip here in Chinatown. I had a wonderful time trying different foods. Um, and I would like to thank my friends from Bucket for inviting me here and I've made a few other friends as well. Um, if you guys want to check, out, check it out, it's an awesome app where you can register for trips and if you are a tour guide, you can put your trips on this web application. So do check it out and let me know and hope to catch you guys in the next Bucket Travels. Once again, thank you guys for watching the Traveling Process videos and if you haven't done so, please do subscribe. And if you haven't liked this video, please like below. It would be really good. Also, thank you guys for watching. Um, catch you guys in the next video.